video of a robot arm that I did for like a school science project or a science Olympiad um, competition thing. <clears throat> and uh, the goal of building this was just to man uh, maneuver some parts around like this like playing field that you put your robot in and you're supposed to get certain parts in different buckets and stuff. Um, ours couldn't really do that. The, <laughs> the claw wasn't working too well. We got fourth place anyways, but just because it was kind of work, it, the robot was working. But I wanted to show show you like the robot and uh, how we ran it with Arduino before. Um, you know, so just just so if anyone else wants to try to do the same thing, they have like a little source they can use. But uh, yeah, you can see some of these um, movements. I'm moving the claw up and down, up and down here. The claw is pretty good. Um, it could be definitely better. It, 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 that was probably the problem um, with uh, our robot was the claw couldn't grip anything too well. So you can see that. I mean, it works fairly well. So I can take that out. Um, yeah, as you can probably tell, this servo is actually taped over. Uh, that that one I couldn't get to run because I'm using this controller here that actually has uh, two PlayStation joysticks and each joystick has two potentiometers and so that's if two times two is four um, <laughs> so I can run four servos with just the potentiometers I was going to try to do the fifth there's pretty much there's essentially five um, axes of rotation here that you can uh, do um, so the fifth one I was going to run with the click of the joysticks but that never worked um, I, I tried to program it, but I couldn't get it, and we only had like a day, a day left, so I couldn't um, really do much. But I just, nonetheless, I wanted to show you um, the robot, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the the program that I created to do this. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you some of the electronics that go into this. Okay, here's a close up on some of the electronics that go into it. Um, you can see I have this big breadboard here that's just a, a bird's nest of wires. Uh, the reason it's like this is just I ha only had like about like a day or two in order to get all the stuff running, and I didn't have any time to like um, solder in like pin headers and you know do all that um, fun stuff. So I just decided to kind of do it on a breadboard. And then back here is the Arduino. It's an Arduino Duomenule or whatever I can I can never pronounce it, but um, again that's just run by a nine volt. Um, you can see the plug right here, and um, all these green wires are going to the servos. Those are just connected into the. I don't. I don't know if it had to be PW the PWM pins. I don't think it does, but um, I saw some some people said it does. So just to be safe, I did. I put um, each of those in a PWM um, digital output um, header. So yeah, and then I have the inputs. It's kind of hard to see back here, but these the inputs are these black wires. You can see like right here. Uh, they go in the analog in, and that comes from my controller, which is right here. You can see some of these black wires, um, and yeah, this this red one, that's the power. And then I have the ground that's like attached to it. You can see that's like a a zip. It's like a zip um, a zip wire or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that's the power, and then I have the inputs. And these other two wires here are uh, for the the button presses that I could never get working, so that's that's how it's pretty much wired up. It's not it's not too complex, but each of these servos has to have a power pin, and um, this again the green is the signal that that I'm using. So you can see these signals go to the breadboard and they're dis distributed to the respective servos. So um, I can show you the batteries are underneath the the arm actually. Try to lift this guy up. Um, but you can see that black battery here, it's like a, I don't even know what it's called, but I think it's like a lith lithium, I, I don't know, I, I saw it, it um, it's, it's actually not faced the right way for me to see it, but and then you can see this 9 volt battery here, that's the Arduino power, and then this one supplies the power to all the servos, because it, it, the servos can't be just run off the Arduino, uh, there's just too many of them. Um, so, that is it for the wiring. I know it looks pretty confusing, but it's really not. It just takes a while because there's so many servos. And I'm going to go ahead and now show you the code that I made. All right, uh, here we are on my computer, and I have my Arduino environment opened up. And yeah, I can get, get right into the code. 
So here I have all of, I have four servos that are running on my um, robot arm, and I define these here because later I use a servo function um, in order to control them. And then here I have different positions, and this is the position of the servo, so they're all at 90 degrees right now. Um, and I just I automatically define each position as 90 degrees when it starts out. And then here's the potentiometers that those are the joystick controllers. Um, so I have two axes, so two potentiometers per joystick. So I have four in total. So you can see those here. Um, <clears throat> and that, yeah. And then right here I have values, and these values store the value that the potentiometer gives. Um, and you'll see that later on in the code. Um, but right here, here's my main loop. And I just set all these potentiometers as inputs here. Um, I'm using these servo f um, functions to to kind of designate which, which pin that the input to the servo is attached to. So I have 6, 9, 10, and 11 on my um, output of the Arduino. And then here I start or th th this was the setup, sorry. This is the actual loop. Um, so here I'm setting my values equal to what the potentiometers are reading, and I just I, I read all of them and I set them equal to that, those values. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and write them to those values, so they all should go to 90 degrees automatically. Um, and I wait 30 milliseconds. And then, then I start my different loops that are checking for different um, positions of my potentiometers. So here, if my potentiometer goes um, to the right or up, um, that would mean that the value would go greater than 650. Um, and the 650 is kind of like a tolerance. Um, pretty much, I have it to where I set, like if my potentiometer, if my joystick moves just a little bit, it's not going to go above 650. But if I actually move it far, then it will go above 650, um, the, the value. So that's how I do that. And then I also make sure the position is not going to go past 180. Um, so this is just like a, I think this is boot, Bootlean um, language right here, this little double ampersand that just makes sure that both of these are true while the loop's running. So then I um, increase the position by one, with the, which is this, what this line does. And then I'm going to go ahead and write all my servos to the positions that they're at. The only one that's going to change is this first, the first one. Um, and I wait 50 mil 15 milliseconds, and then um, I read the value of my potentiometer again, and if it's still at that position, it's going to go through this again, and, and that's just going to continue until I let my thumb off the the joystick. And that's um, servo one start. I have this little note up here, um, and then it goes all the way down to here. So this checks if it's uh, if that potentiometer is going down or in the left the left um, direction. And if, if that's true, then it's going to subtract one from this position, and then it can write write all the um, servos to their um, positions and wait 15 milliseconds, and then keep reading it. So um, that's for one servo, and I I just do that for each servo. So I have this is um, servo two start, servo two end, servo three start, servo three end, and then servo four start for servo four end, and that's the end of the the main loop. And that is how my code works. I'm sure it's not the most efficient, and I'm sure there's people out there that know how to do it better than me. Um, so if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. And um, I think I know why my buttons weren't working. Um, now I've been, I actually recently got an oscilloscope, and I've been kind of checking stuff out. And I've realized that when I push the buttons, it's not the, the wire isn't going high, or like it's not getting five volts out of the wire. So I did, I actually. I messed up when I wired in like the resistor, so I, I might go back and change that later and post an update video. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from it, and um, yeah, if I hope this inspired you to maybe build your own little Arduino-powered arm or some other servo um, ser servo device. So thanks for watching.